7th of March, the 12th day of the war. Thank God for a new day. In the convent where I now live, the sisters have adoration of the Eucharist around the clock. My turn was from 3 to 5 o'clock in the morning. This time passed very quickly for me. At first I thought I would do two hours. The rosary and some other prayers would probably have to be prayed, I thought. However, two hours passed like one minute. I just sat in front of the Eucharist. I sacrificed this for the military, for the conversion of our people and Russia, for all those who die and for the souls in purgatory. I prayed Psalm 90 for those serving in the military and then silence and looking at Jesus in the Eucharist. Today's Gospel speaks very well of all those who are trying to help the victims of the war. Feed, give to the drink, clothe, give housing and comfort. Jesus says, What you did to one of my youngest brothers, you did to me. May the Lord be glorified in his holy word, which is alive and active. The time of war is is a very good test of our priorities, of ourselves. Can we give up ourselves? Will we give away our favorite sweater for those who have only one? Can we give up our comfort? eat less food to share with others, deny ourselves our favorite candies and luxury items. I managed to take only one small backpack with me, two skirts, a pair of jackets, a t-shirt, a pair of small things, a computer, a prayer book, I can see how this is enough for me. There was a whole closet left at home, but today I see how unimportant it all is. Dear brothers and sisters, our prayer continues. Thank you to each of you for supporting the spiritual front. The prayer of each of you is important. Let's not give up. May the Immaculate Heart of Mary triumph.